Hello, this is Jennifer Goodfriend with Recruiter.com, and today I'm going to walk you through a how-to demo for Recruiter.com video. Here I am on the website video.recruiter.com, and I'm going to go ahead and log in. Upon logging in, you will see a simple landing page. On the left-hand side are the jobs that you've created. Um, and as you invite candidates, uh, those candidates will fill up here per job. Now, I have already created a bunch of jobs, but if you're logging in for the first time, you'll need to create a new job. And you do that here in the upper right-hand corner, create a new job. Um, we can go ahead and uh, create this as a test job. Let's call it test job two. And then we'll decide who can have access to this job. So perhaps you have an entire team of people that you want to have access to this job and the candidates that apply, or perhaps there are only select folks that you want to have access to this job and to be able to review candidate videos for. I'm going to give the entire team access. Next, I would click on advanced settings and decide whether I want the candidate to upload a resume or not. For this job, let's not include a resume. Here, you'll post a description of the job and you can be as detailed as you'd like. Test job to description. The screen that will pop up next are the questions that you want the candidate to answer via video. You determine the questions, and they can be any questions that you deem appropriate, as well as however many questions you deem appropriate. Most of our clients realize that five questions or less is ideal. This first question here is, please introduce yourself. We're going to give the candidate, let's say, 45 seconds to answer that question, and we'll give them an option of three retakes. Because they're just introducing themselves, I don't think more explanation is needed for this specific question. For question two, we've asked the candidate what makes them the best person for this role. They may need a bit more time to answer this question. So let's go ahead and give them a minute and 30 seconds, as well as three retakes. As a courtesy, we'll enable practice. This is important. You have the opportunity as uh, the recruiter or the business to brand the candidate's experience. So let's say you have a company video on YouTube or Vimeo or really anywhere on your computer. You're able to upload that here, as well as brand the background image and include your company logo. At this point, we've successfully created the job, which is great. Um, you enter the candidate's information here so that you can send the job to that candidate so that they can apply. There are more than one way there's more than one way to, to send the job to a candidate. The first is here by having the candidate's name and email address. You can include their phone number if you'd like the candidate to receive a text that they've been invited to apply to the job. Here, you'll decide how long the candidate has to apply. So perhaps until the end of the week, um, maybe by, by 12 noon. For the sake of um, this demo, I will include uh, my personal email address there. Now you also receive a link. Remember how I mentioned that you'll be able to invite candidates to apply to this job multiple ways. Let's say that you have a handful of candidates where you have their name and email address and you want to include them as specific applicants for the job, but you also want to post this job on your company website or on your LinkedIn profile so that other people that feel they are a qualified candidate can apply. Well, that can easily be done by simply copying this link here um, and you can post that anywhere and this way any candidate who has the link can apply. So now what you see is a screen specific to our test job, right? So here's the job that we created. No candidates have applied yet, so you won't see their videos, um, but you will see three funnels, which are so, supposed to represent um, the hiring process. So new candidates, as their videos come through, along with their resume um, and any more details that they provide, will fall here in the new candidate bucket. Um, 
I'm going to actually head over to a job where I have uh, videos in it already so that you can see what I'm talking about more clearly. So again, new candidate videos have funneled here into the new candidate um, section. You have the opportunity to not only review these videos, but to drag and drop them as appropriate across the hiring funnel. So if you wanted to shortlist this person, you could go ahead and do so. Um, to watch a video, you will click here, show the details um, for this candidate and click play. What's so awesome here is you can actually copy this candidate's video. So I've done that here. And you could send it in an email to another one of your colleagues or perhaps to a hiring manager and say, you know, check this person out. So um, I've gone ahead and pasted their video. And now um, the person that I've sent it to will be able to watch the video in a browser or wherever they pasted it. All right, um, a few more details I want to show here. Once you've watched the video, you can leave comments for your team um, and you can also rate the candidate. Additionally, uh, if the candidate did upload a resume, you'd have the opportunity to download their resume right here. And I'll find a video um, that has that option. So here we go. Miles has uploaded his resume in addition to copying his video and being able to send it to your hiring manager or to a colleague. You can also download his resume and send that along as well. Or you could simply invite your colleague to be a part of the platform and to review this candidate inside uh, recruiter.com video. So just a few more things to highlight here. All of these buckets that um, are indicative of the hiring process are customizable. So let's say um, after a new candidate comes in, the next item that you uh, wanted the team to discuss is uh, an in-person interview. You could change the second bucket to be an in-person interview. Perhaps this third bucket is candidates that you've decided to hire. So again, all of this is personalizable and you can create new stages as appropriate. I guess the last thing I'll highlight here is the settings. Um, if you click on settings, you have the opportunity to continue to brand the experience uh, you have when you log in, right? So you have your profile picture as well as the logo from your company. And that is really about it. Uh, Recruiter.com video is extra simple um, and I hope this how-to was helpful.